Hello, my name is Norman Stapelberg. I'm a product marketing manager for Nexperia Semiconductors based in Manchester, England. Um, I'm responsible for automotive Aleph Pack MOSFETs. Um, and today I'm going to give you a quick introduction into copper clip technology for MOSFETs and how that benefits you in your application. So for all MOSFET manufacturers, one of the uh, challenges we all face is to try and reduce the MOSFET resistance, its switching capability, and also its EMC capability. So ideally we want a MOSFET with very low resistance and very good switching performance while not producing any uh, radiated EMC. So if you have a look at this picture on the board there, um, we can see that the main resistive path of a MOSFET is made up out of the package and then the silicon die inside the package. Um, the silicon die contains a switch and the package is really just the carrier for the MOSFET. So if we look at traditional wire bonded packages such as, uh, such as D2PAC or DPAC, um, a, a big part of the resistance of the package is actually made up by the bond wires. So in this case we have three bond wires that are stitch bonded to the top connection of the die. Um, and this is about as optimal as you can get for wire bonded packages. But in a package like DPAC, the package resistance could be as one, high as 1.5 milliohm. So what happened is in 2002, we worked with Hitachi and we said we needed to find a better solution. Um, and from that cooperation with Hitachi came Aleph Pack, which is a copper clip package um, to try and address some of these limitations from the package. So if you look at the copper clip design, we have a very big source connection, um, which gives you a very low package resistance. And we also have very short leads which also helps reduce the package resistance and inductance of the, uh, the top clip. The two pack, the leads coming out of the package are quite long, which is a big contributor to the inductance of the device, but also the, the resistance. In the case of Aleph pack, we only have short leads, but we also have three for the source connection rather than just the one we had on D2 pack. So why is this important? So firstly, the package resistance is now significantly reduced but also because you have this big source connection and three pins coming out, the package uh, current capability is significantly improved. So in older generations of D-Pack, they were limited to around 70 amps, and D-2-Pack was limited to 120 amps. Aleph pack is now capable of as much as 300 amps. So these high package resistances wasn't a problem in our older generations of silicon because most of the resistance was actually in the silicon. But for newer generations with the improved silicon, this overall percentage of the resistance of the device is now much more dependent on the package. So if you look at Aleph pack, the package resistance is improved by about 90% compared to D-Pack. Um, from a current handling capability, it's not just about the maximum current the device can handle, but it's also about current spreading. So if you look at a wire bonded package, if you have a short circuit condition or a, um, a locked rotor condition and you have large inrush currents, then over the short time period, all the heat, so all the current is crowding around the wire bonds. So you have very high current densities there and very little current density elsewhere in the device. This means you create local heating around the wire bonds and you don't get the full entitlement out of the silicon in the application. In the case of Aleph Pack, because we have the big source connection, the current spreads equally over the top surface of the device um, and you get very good short circuit handling capability uh, compared to you, what you would traditionally get with wire bonded packages. So we're not the only supplier on the market that offers copper clip packages. Various of our competitors do this as well. Um, and some of them also do that in the Aleph Pack 5x6 or Power SO8 footprint. Um, but we're one of the few suppliers that have a leaded device. So again, why does this matter? So if we look at the picture over there, so one of the first advantages of having the leaded device is you can use standard optical inspection equipment or AOI equipment. So if we look at this picture there, the exposed leads make it easy for the optical inspection equipment to be able to see the solder fillet around the lead. And if you look at on the side view, we have a nice wettable flanks on the uh, lead, so you can easily inspect the solder joints without needing expensive x-ray equipment. And also the top tab, you can very clearly see the solder joints. 
Because this is a leaded device, it's also, also suitable for wave soldering. If you look at these top pictures, this is more talking about reliability. So if you have a, 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 leaded, a leadless device like a QFN style package, um, and your PC board goes through uh, significant temperature cycles, then basically what happens is when you temperature cycle the PC board, you have different expansion coefficients on the PC board, and basically the PC board expands and contracts and bends. So for a, a package like this where everything is fixed and there's no flexibility in the leads, one of two things can happen. So this movement in the PC board then propagates into the device um, and as this lead bends and expands and contracts, eventually the plastic cracks and then you have a risk of uh, contamination getting into the package or moisture ingress, which can cause parametric shifts or even device failure. In the case of Alephpack, the leads act like a bit of a shock absorber. So as the PC board expands and contracts, the leads just expand and contract with it and actually absorbs all of the, 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 the flexing in the PC board and you get a very reliable PC board solution. In trials we've done, and we've had these done externally as well, um, we've gone far beyond 2000 temperature cycles um, without any degradation of the solder joint. Okay, I think that's basically the summary I wanted to give you today. Um, what's important to know as well, so the device we spoke about here is Aleph Pack 56, which is our uh, 5x6 Power SO8 top clip device. We also have a family of parts now. Um, we have an Aleph Pack 33, which is 3x3 three three millimeters, and an Aleph Pack 56D, which is a totally isolated dual version. All of these devices are footprint compatible with competitor equivalents. And we also have a universal footprint design for the Aleph Pack 56 um, that allows you to lay your PC board out so you can use multiple suppliers. Um, Aleph Pack 56 and the whole family are fully automotive qualified to Q101. Um, and in fact, for the most critical parameters, we've extended that life testing to twice Q101. So for any further information, please go to nexperia.com. Um, there's lots of, sort of material there available for you, and thank you very much for listening today. Thanks.